Hi everyone. I'm standing here at, on, at Boyle Avenue and where it intersects the Metrolink. Uh, right now there's currently an effort to build a new Metrolink station here for Cortex, which as you can see, it's a very big uh, office development and big part of the startup scene in St. Louis. Uh, interestingly, this is the point where there is also plans for a new greenway running from Forest Park to downtown. So there's a first section of this, which, was, which will be called the Shoto Greenway. And it will run, the fir very first section will run from Boyle, where this Metrolink station is, to Sarah Street. And then from there, there are plans to extend this down to the east, all the way downtown to the Arch, and then to the west, out to Forest Park. So just wanted to give you, a, let you know that there's progress coming here and it'll be interesting to see where the path leads for, these, for, the, for, the, for this particular greenway. Whether it will follow a path south along the, along the railroad corridor toward downtown or whether it will head kind of more toward the center. As far as the westbound, Going westbound from here, there's actually a DuPont facility that, where it starts off and it will head west, as I understand it, it will head west toward the uh, Barnes Hospital Complex and then make its way into Forest Park via Clayton Avenue. The eastbound part is the more interesting part because there, there definitely are some choices and there's a major design competition that's starting the very, around the first of the year to figure out exactly what is the best path. Okay, here I am. I'm at Sarah Street where it crosses the Metrolink and you can see the signage for the new station here as well. This time I'm actually facing toward the north from the, from the railroad crossing for the Metrolink. And really at this point is where the, this first test track will be finished up. So th this part is already funded and uh, we should see a, a, a new Metrolink station as well as the, the new uh, first segment of the uh, of the Shoto Greenway being completed probably within like the next year. Now, as we look eastbound, you see the big uh, green elevator, and then of course IKEA up there. There, this is really a point where uh, there's really a major decision to make. So, there's a trestle that runs across Vandeventer, which I'll, I'll show in the next segment. But right in this area, there. Uh, there's really a choice for the for the designers of the Shoto Greenway. Do they choose to uh, continue to follow the railroad to the east and then end up south of Highway 40, running to downtown from the south, from the south side of the railroad uh, infrastructure? Or do they choose to go to the north and uh, follow a path that, that gets closer to St. Louis University, Harris Doe State University, Wells Fargo and then into downtown. So, the, so there's really choices here that have to be made by the designers. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, how they see this. Now, part of the Shoto Greenway, a big part of this is that is that there's an intention to have several spurs that lead off of the main Greenway, leading into some of these key uh, destinations. So the question is, do they uh, do they do this work from do they work from the south? Do they follow a path right through the center of town? So we'll see. it'll be interesting to see how that how that ends up playing out. Here I am under the Vandeventer overpass, and there's a spur of the North Folk and Western Railroad that leads that leads from the Metrolink line over into a new area called the Foundry, City Foundry. And part of the idea of the Shoto Greenway was to have a connection into this new entertainment, new restaurant and entertainment district. The 
question is, would this be the main line of the Greenway, or would this just be a spur, just like the, just like the railroad spur it is today? And here we are at the city foundry, which is just north of the Van Deventer overpass. And you can see this area is under redevelopment right now. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but there's much work that's going on to prepare the site. And then as we look over to the to the west, this is that trestle coming in and where it ends. And the idea is that this trestle would be extended with a bike lane right into this foundry, city foundry district. I'm now on the south side of Highway 6440, and one of the key redevelopment opportunities is the, the, the armory building that's been unoccupied for quite some time. There are plans now to redevelop this armory, and there's a desire to have this somehow connected to the Shoto Greenway. The challenge is that it's on the other side of the highway, and if the, if the spur from, from Vandeventer carries you north of Highway 40, then what is the way, how do we connect that part of the line over to this side of the highway again? And as, as the video shows here, I'm looking now across Highway 40 into the, into the city foundry area and showing the backside of that area that's gonna be redeveloped. So the big question is how do you connect these two how do you connect these two zones? Uh, and it, right here at this point, it might be high enough to where you could actually put a walkway between, you know, higher than the roadbed but lower than that overpass to get to you know to get across. But the, it'll be interesting to see what proposals might come forward for that. here at Forest Park Boulevard and Spring and just north of the Foundry District. One of the questions is if they use that spur to bring cyclists into the into the city foundry, how do they go eastbound from here or how do they get to the uh, Salu campus from here? Because it's not real easy to extend the trail further east because there's several buildings that are actually in the way. And then, what is the best way to go north and get into the SLU campus? These are some interesting choices that designers have. Here I am on Laclede, just before reaching Grand, looking eastbound. Uh, prior to having a Shoto Greenway, this is a pretty popular route from for getting from Forest Park to downtown. Following the Cleed or West Pine through the SLU campus and then heading east from there. There's an interesting uh, really walkway that goes through the SLU campus following the path where the Cleed ends. And I'll show that in just a second. Here I am at the St. Louis University campus where they're uh, soccer stadium is located and one idea for the eastbound stretch of the Shoto Greenway could be that it follows a path through the SLU campus via then through Harris Stowe University into downtown. One of the cool things is that there's actually the makings of a greenway already here that's part of the SLU campus. This is this is at the end of the uh, just by the stadium and then this walkway carries through over to Chaffetz Arena and you can see the arch in the background to the east. An idea would be to, to take this existing path and then extend it through the Harris Stowe University campus through to uh, Wells Fargo and then to downtown and use this as kind of the backbone of the, of the Greenway. The other option is to 
continue to use the railroad infrastructure to the south of Highway 40 and then build spurs off of that. I think this could be a viable possibility. The only thing is that the universities would have to agree that this would be part of their part of the the, the really the, the main backbone of the of the greenway. And that may be not possible. Okay, now I'm looking westbound at the Chaffetz Arena. This is where this path that runs through the Slough campus comes out. And as you cross Compton, this is the Harris Stowe campus. So it's conceivable that this path could be continued eastbound from there. Now, however, there's, there's maybe a good chance that the, that the two universities are not really wanting the public coming through their campus. So, but just an interesting thought. Looking east is the continuation of uh, the Plead Street going eastbound, and uh, this would, could be a viable possibility of extending a greenway through here from the Slough campus. Now, the Plead extends all the way up until it dead ends at the Wells Fargo campus. If I turn just to my right is Market Street leading into downtown and if I turn to the west you can see the Cleed heading straight south toward the Harris Stowe campus and also to the Chaffetz Arena. So it's conceivable that a that a, a path that a greenway that followed through the middle of the Slough campus could extend all the way up to here and really keep out of the flow of traffic but also connect the two universities as well as a couple major employers Millipore Mil Sigma as well as Wells Fargo Advisors and then from there you would the idea would be to follow a path along Market Street heading toward downtown A big part of employee wellness is really riding your bike to work and to home. Having bike infrastructure along this section of Market Street could be a big contributor to getting people out of their cars, getting them into better condition, and really in a better state of mind for, for work as well as play. Here we are on Market Street near 20th, and this is the big interchange that eventually will come down. This was the, this was a plan, the planned site for the soccer stadium, which right now is on hold. But the idea is that we need some way to connect into downtown, and just off in the distance is the Allo Park across from Union Station. And then also all of this greenway that runs down through the middle of the city leading downtown. There's also some bicycle infrastructure along Chestnut Street that heads eastbound all the way to the arch from there. So one possibility could be to use that, uh, that protected lane heading into downtown or to use this greenway that we have, the, the whole green park system that runs between Union Station and the Arch utilize that infrastructure as part of, part of the Greenway. Here is the beautiful Allo Park across from Union Station and notice a protected bike lane that runs eastbound along Chestnut starting at 20th all the way to the Arch. This lane could be conceivably part of the Greenway connecting all the way to downtown. Currently, if you look to the west, this, is lane, this lane starts at 20th Street, but there's no connection to it coming from the west. So the idea would be to connect to this lane somehow from Market Street and then continue it on the rest of the way downtown. This would handle the eastbound portion However, the westbound portion, there is, there's no infrastructure at this point. So this could conceivably be replaced with a 
some type of a lane that uses the park better or maybe utilize a different street for the eastbound portion of this infrastructure. Here I am at the Grand Metrolink station looking west. Now one of the options could be that to have the Greenway go from Sarah and at the, at the new Metrolink station and then just continue to follow the Metrolink all the way over here to Grand in, at, at the south. So if that was done, then the idea would be to do various spurs to go from the from the south to the north to get to connect some of the key areas like the Fox Theater, SLU, and, and others. Now I'm going to turn and you can kind of look toward the north. You can see from here, this is, I'm looking, I'm really right alongside of Grand. I'm just to the south of, or excuse me, just to the west of Grand. And then kind of turning, looking toward the Grand Metrolink station. So one option would be to have that Greenway just continue to follow the Metrolink line through this section. The, the only difference is you would need these major connectors to get to, get to the north to connect to Grand Center, SLU, and the other locations along there. An important element of the Shoto Greenway is to have good connectivity to the, to the assets of St. Louis, including the Fox Theater, Really, just the whole uh, area around Fox, around the Fox, and St. Louis University, and all of its assets. So the key is to having the right kind of spurs off of the main greenway to get to these strategic assets, and have gathering points where people can have a good time, can get to work safely, and really give you a reason to want to use the greenway. The original plan for the Shoto Greenway was to have have it follow the rail lines from out you know out west into downtown, and this is just back behind the Ameren facilities along along the south side of the railroad tracks. The idea would be that the Greenway could actually run along this path into downtown, or perhaps on the other side of the tracks, on the opposite side. Uh, there, the only challenge is that there's you know, with the Metrolink running on that side. Um, it does have a couple of turns going into downtown and it would need, you know, the, the greenway would need to be away from that. So just trying to uh, show that picture of the other option that, that they're looking at. So it could be that the greenway follows this path, which does have a beautiful view of downtown as you're heading closer. And, uh, you know, so, so it's a good chance that the greenway could follow this path. Now the key to this path is that there will really need to be very good connections going north into these key uh, into these key destinations like SLU and, and uh, uh, Harristow and then the, the Grand Center with uh, Fox Theater and all that. The other thing is that we really still need good connections going south as well and uh, you know connecting the neighborhoods heading south. That's been the really biggest challenge with, with this, this rail infrastructure is that it's it's a great asset to have, but it, it tends to divide the city, you know, making it difficult to get from the south to the north, so we really, and vice versa. So we need to really work hard on correcting those problems and really making, making this a vital asset. key part of the success of the Shoto Greenway will be having vital connections into key neighborhoods such as Lafayette Square and other areas to the south. This is really important to connect all these neighborhoods with our central core and with downtown and Forest Park. If the Shoto Greenway follows a path south of the railroad tracks, it offers a really, some really beautiful views of downtown heading in. 
uh, this is actually looking north over part of the uh, part of the Ralston Purina campus, and the idea is that the, the path could follow a line that runs just north of their property, but just south of the railroad tracks, heading north into downtown. The idea is that this could be part of the path of the Greenway heading along these railroad tracks, heading into downtown. The original plan for the Shoto Greenway had the Greenway connecting to the arch grounds somewhere along here, under, around this interchange, Poplar Street Bridge, and near Bush Stadium, coming in, connecting to the Greenway, somewhere along here, connecting into the arch grounds. That plan was more of a, I think, more of a kind of a kind of a vision, but I'm not sure there was anything concrete around it. So the idea was to either come in south of the arch grounds, connect to the riverfront, or you know, through, the, through some paths this way, or go through the heart of downtown through a different path. So it'll be interesting to see what the designers come up with as their best approach to getting from Forest Park to the arch. Thanks for watching. These were just some of my early thoughts as I took a ride on my scooter on a Saturday. And it'll be interesting to see how the designers figure out exactly the best plan for our Shoto Greenway. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll see some great work here in the near future. Bye now.